Right, my name's Alan Tugwell. Uh, I'm a prison officer at Cardiff and uh, I've been a prison officer for 21 years and for the past eight months I've been running Clink Radio, which is the prison radio station. And how did that idea come about? Um, about three, three years ago it came together. It was started by someone called Vanessa Newton who used the idea as a better way, a more advanced way of communication within the prison itself. Of course, communication within a prison is all done by posters, um, you know, letters, and things go missing, and the idea of using a communication through radio was put forward, and, uh, and it's worked very well. So how is the station actually run on a day-to-day basis? Right, on a day-to-day basis, well, we have three permanent uh, lads who work in the, the station. Uh, one does the producing, one does most of the, the presenting, and the other one does all the paperwork and and uh, all the, the nice administration side of things and the, the printing of um, the posters and flies and stuff like that that we use throughout the prison. And how many hours a day do they sort of work at the station or, or do they broadcast live? How does it work? Right. We've got separate stations for doing the ICT key skills and the lads who are working in the studio they work on a basis where we record onto a dvd um, because there's no other facility f- to put it out within the wings at the moment so we'll record on the dvd each individual wing has a dvd player that is then piped through to all the tellies within the cells and each day a two-hour show is produced uh, a monday we put out the rock show tuesday is a reggae show wednesday is a dance show uh, thursday we do a punk come charts, whichever is the least boring, because the charts is boring at the moment. And um, and then again, we go back to rock. You know, we, we try and mix it up to give tastes for, for everyone within the prison establishment. And what sort of feedback do you get from the people that listen, and who does listen? Um, it's it's all inmate-based, because the station is purely for the inmates at Cardiff Prison. Um, we do have the odd officer who listens in when it's being played, and they can hear it over the air of a dinner time. But the feedback is very good. We do get... Um, requests coming through to uh, play certain songs for people so yeah the feedback is very good and so what do the inmates actually get out of being part of this radio station it's, it's something totally different for them you know it's not the normal run-of-the-mill job the jobs within a prison uh, i'm sure people know are not exactly the best in the world although there's no sewing mail bags anymore or anything like that but with this job they, they get a lot out of it you know they learn to use equipment uh, part of the job is teaching them outside broadcasting equipment as well although they don't get to use it but we do use it for example we have a lot of um, family days once every couple of months and what happens is that the families will come in and with the children and we take the outside broadcasting equipment over and uh, we do requests and things like that and then they're played back over the air uh, we take them back and edit them which is another one of their jobs as well and um, for example we put a, a show out on Christmas Day to all the inmates uh, from their families wishing them happy Christmas so it, it's also a way of holding on to the, the communication and the family ties as well while they're inside prison Tell me a little bit about your studio and the setup. Like, how did you, how did it come about? How did you source all your equipment? All the stuff came from the BBC, and it was donated by Pebble Mill Studios. They delivered it, everything. It was all given to us, and um, the prison then paid for two porter cabins. We we do have a proper studio, radio studio, although it's not soundproofed. You can hear jangle of keys everywhere and doors clanging and people shouting, but we we haven't got around to getting it soundproofed yet. So. And you were telling me earlier about some rumours about where your desk might have come from. Could you tell me about that? Yes, we, it's actually um, a piece was written in the South Wales Echo when uh, we were promoting the station and you know letting people know what was going on. And um, this actually s- states that it was uh, a desk that once belonged to the, the legendary John Peel. So I'm very happy and excited about that. And have you got any stories about the radio station sort of either in the setup or any funny stories about shows or just just anything interesting that you can remember uh one thing we did recently was which was a, a good thing was the prison also does charity work as well and they they got a bike workshop which they take in all bikes and they redo them they take them apart strip them and then they're sent out to romania and we had the people who run the charity come in and we interviewed them and we played it to the prison then um, what actually the prison also does so which is great because people probably don't realize that they also do things like this as well and um, it was really well thought of by all the prisoners as well of what is going on the fact that 
they're getting something out of the fact that they're doing something, putting something back into the community as well by doing this work on the bikes and giving back to people. They know they're in the wrong and they're doing this by doing the bikes and they're all shipped back out to Romania. And we interviewed the charity who had nothing but praise for the, the lads that do the work. It's interesting because the prison is such a huge part of Adamsdown and yet the residents who live within Adamsdown don't know anything really about what's going on behind the walls. I had no idea that this radio station went on. Do you as a prison consider yourselves as part of the community? I think we we are a community within a community. I mean, behind the, the prison itself, you are a, in a community. But uh, no, I, it's funny you say that. No, I've never thought... I know we're in Adams Down, but never thought of it as part of the Adams Down community. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure.